There, there's a cost to cancel these bookings? You can't well, it's cancel? non-refundable. Before we get to that, if you don't know the story so far, let me fill you in. I'm Andy. That's me. A year ago, I was laid off from a job that I loved, and it broke my autistic brain. So I decided to leave corporate life behind for a while. I sold my house, packed up the Tesla, and hit the road for two years with my wife. This adventure is not starting off the way I intended it to. But when does anything good ever come easy? We're in the middle of the first leg of the drive to Alberta now. We are in Vaughan, charging up. We're headed to, I believe it's called Fairbanks Campground. It's about six, seven hours away <laughs> with charging, seven hours. Yeah, so we're just going to pitch a tent and camp for the night and then hit the road again in the morning. Oh, there okay. you go. I assured MC I would have this tent unpacked <laughs> in three minutes. Recording, but it was two minutes. <laughs> Yay! We slept. Not much. <laughs> you slept. <laughs> well, I needed it. Mm -hmm. I was so sick. I was so messed up. By the end of the night, oh, no. COVID kicked my ass. But it's a nice crisp morning because <laughs> it was pretty chilly all night. Yeah, my face is cold. We have the Tesla plug <laughs> plugged in, going all the way up to the car. And the car is charging. Look at us now. Hike. Apparently you can see crystal blue waters when you get to the lookout. I brought the drone. heading back <sighs> and I'm exhausted oh, I'm sorry <laughs> COVID hikes suck <laughs> let's go I'm just waiting for MC to check us out of the Fairbanks campground that we were at. We are on our way to Pancake Bay. It's uh, about four hours away. It's a nice easy drive. I still feel pretty terrible. My breathing is off. My gut is a little bit off. I'm super tired. That little hike <laughs> totally wiped me out. What do you think of Pancake Bay? F Pancake Bay. So we're on an unpowered site today. And our battery backup has been powering our fridge for, well, about 24 hours. And it's definitely not going to last the night. A scale of 1 to 10. How are we doing? <laughs> well, we're not doing terribly bad. This is... Uh, so we made the decision to drive for between four and six hours every day. The idea was to pitch a tent, sleep, 
go for a hike in the morning, then drive, rinse and repeat. That's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. I don't know that I can do uh, seven days of this. I'm just too tired. Like, well, you're also sick, so that's affecting, I think, your perception right now as well. But I agree that we need at least two nights. Yeah. Because it is a lot of work to pack and unpack and exactly. repack. And... I f***ed up pretty bad last night. Let's talk about emotional dysregulation for a little bit. It's part of autism. After supper, I was completely overwhelmed. And I was trying to make a fire, and the fire wasn't going. It just kept dying out and creating a whole bunch of smoke. And so I panicked and put out the fire. That was the end of my night and no big deal. However, MC was really, really looking forward to the fire. And I realize now in retrospect that I completely ruined her night. So as a result, now I feel terrible. That's where we're at. It's early morning and I'm hoping that today's a better day. Yours here right now <laughs> that you have the view kind you. of night <laughs> what are you doing? We dream about oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm looking to see if we can book an additional night because our original timeline was too aggressive. Too aggressive for who? For both of us, but mostly you. Mostly me. <laughs> definitely, definitely me. <laughs> but, get this. We reached out to the Airbnb that we booked in, uh, well, just outside of Edmonton, and asked if we could move our dates by three days. They initially said, sure, you can do it for a fee of about $500. So I responded saying, no, it's just me and my wife filming a docu-series. And they responded, oh, no problem. We'll, we'll change the dates for free. <laughs> so I managed to push us out three days, which means now we can actually relax, hopefully stay here for two nights, take a breather, and enjoy some scenery. Remember this, oh, oh, oh. to the bathroom down the creepy pathway enjoying the breakfast of champions here <laughs> and then we're off for an early morning hike it's early, not that early morning oh it's looking <laughs> cloudy is it gonna rain it's not supposed to we're off to see the wizard <laughs> We've been hiking for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. Holy cow. This is just uphill and uphill and uphill and uphill and uphill. And uh, oh, here we go. Even more uphill. Even this guy needs a nap. <laughs> We've been walking for legit almost two hours. What's going on? Let's explain what the hell's going on. I misread a map. 